Good afternoon everybody out there in YouTube land. This is CW back with you again for a review. Um, this time I'm going to review a couple of lanterns. This one is the Leshy, the Yuko Leshy lantern and flashlight. This one is the Trailblazer pop-up camping lantern. I don't think it's got a flashlight on it. It doesn't really say on there. But we will check it out and see what it has oh it looks like there is a, probably a flashlight on there so we'll check that out um, this leshy has 110 lumens at the highest uh, level it's got three levels low high and strobe and then you can pull and push and pull out the lantern piece to make it into a lantern or a flashlight flashlight right there so we will get a little close-up of the back of these so you can see the specs because you really probably don't want it to listen to me talk about it this is where it talks about the lantern and the flashlight lantern flashlight lumens batteries it's water resistant it's water resistant I don't think it's really waterproof but um, I really wouldn't dunk it underwater but it'd probably be all right in some rain and it's light where you need it so we're gonna take a look at that the trailblazer pop-up camping lantern see right there it shows a flashlight on it so it might be the same thing so it might be a fairly good comparison to see how these there's the back of the trailblazer block box you can push pause and read all that if you want to not enough pictures for me there we go that's what I'm talking about fire camp and water eating you need some light to eat this is your light I don't know I'm gonna have to look it up and see if it is water resistant as well we may try that we may squirt these things with water when we try them out so anyway we're gonna open them up take a look at them we're gonna try them with like four different battery types this is like a pretty cheap brand this is like a pretty expensive and this is like a mid mid-range and this came in something else uh, some other light or something so I'm gonna try it out on the Leshy because the Leshy only takes one AA battery the Trailblazer takes three AA batteries I believe so let's take them out and see what's up. All right, let's start with this trailblazer. Straight out the box. It's in bubble wrap. I like that, a bubble wrap pouch. Good for holding the batteries, I suppose. And how do you open this thing? Ah, screws open. Oh, there's the battery compartment. Let's try these batteries in there and see what happens. I know it's light in here right now. Um, after a while, after it gets dark, we'll take these outside and see how they compare out in the darkness. Don't cross thread that thing. It ah, ah, it's kind of springy like a jack in the box, right on. Oh, there it goes. Got that one on there. Oh, look at that. There's the flashlight. Oh, the Leshy Lantern, Uko. Uko. 110 lumens. Uh oh, so then it, it's just a little just locks on there a little bit just takes a little bit of a twist just a little bit of a twist just to get it to unlock and now you got a camp a uh, lantern it's got a little handle on the top what a, ah it kind of comes apart right on like a carabiner it's got a kind of kind of a carabiner on the top of it so you can put a light on there if you got another string with a carabiner on it paracord with a carabiner on it you can just put it on there and hang it up you can hang it up in your 
in your uh, tent if it's just got one of the little D-rings up at the top of it. You can just click it right on there and then it looks like there's a little bit of light coming out the bottom of it. And it's got a pretty good little old lantern. Little circle of light, the circle of light. All right, so that was like a mid-range battery. Let's change the batteries real quick and put in a high-range battery and see if it looks any brighter. If we can tell the difference in the daytime anyway, I don't know. There it goes. That's just the flashlight part. If you hang that up, you'll probably get a fairly good amount of light. And to turn it off, right there. Oh, does it have different, it does have different settings. It looks like high, low, strobe. High, low, strobe. All right, let's put in these other batteries and see what happens. Oh man, come on. see if this is going to be any brighter. These are supposed to be some pretty high power batteries. It's supposed to be longer lasting and brighter power. That's what it said on the package anyway. We know how adverts are. All right, where's that? There we go. Oh man, I think that does look brighter. Let's try the I think that does look a little bit brighter with the those batteries in it. Let's see what these are. That might be a little bit brighter. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's try this other uh, really cheap brand right there. Let's see. Pretty easy to take the batteries in and out. a little bit dimmer to me just a little bit not too much not too much difference I don't think maybe at night time it might be a little bit better it looks a little bit dimmer than that but it looks about the same as the gold ones all right so that's that uh, Ozark Trail pop-up camping lantern carabiner top on it carabiner top 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 on it Yep, I'm in distress. That is a really good feature. It will come in handy one of these days. It may come in handy one of these days. Hopefully, you never be in a situation where you need that. But if you are in a situation where you need that, you got it right here in the Trailblazer pop-up camp lantern. Uh, oh, goodness, I don't remember how much I paid for this thing. But I got it from Bud K, I believe. Um, I'll put that in the description when I get this video up online so we're just gonna put it back up did we take the batteries out of it no we didn't we need to take them batteries out of it right and then we'll try it out at night time battery back all right it's all closed up Put it back in the bubble wrap pouch. Put it back. We'll figure that out at night. Now let's open up this Uko. I don't know, it's got this hermetically sealed package. 
Oh, got it. All right, comes with the user manual. That's what I'm talking about. And pictures on it. Troubleshooting, cleaning, problems. Oh man, let's hope we don't have to have that. And it's in uh, several different languages. Whatever language you speak, it might be on here. There's that. All instructions on how to lash it onto something. It's got the little... Oh, get out of there. Goodness. in this thing. There is the battery compartment. Let's look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's got an O-ring right there. A little red O-ring. Make it a little bit water tight. Keep the water out of it. There we go. Got it on there? Yeah, I guess so. And that's how we make the that would be lantern mode. That would be flashlight mode. It takes a little bit to pull it out there. Oh, there's a little string right there. A little, a little bit stretchy. If the if you needed to set it up like on the tent straight on a tent pole or tree limb, just put it on there. Wrap it around there. It can't be too big. Much bigger than my finger, and this thing ain't gonna want to connect over there there it is no goodness come on there we go it's got a little tab right there little hook now you can put that on probably if you were backpacking or something at night time you could probably put it on the strap on your backpack put it on a tree limb wherever you need it as long as it ain't too much bigger than a couple of fingers it'll it'll go on there might be able to get your own piece of paracord or rubber cord put on there a big fat rubber band so anyway let's put a battery in here and see what happens which way does it go does it say oh there's the springy end so I assume it's gonna go that way positive down there usually the springy end goes on the negative side so I guess we'll find out Oh yeah, that's flashlight mode, and then you can pull the lantern out and put it in lantern mode. Looks like you can adjust that lantern mode a little bit by how far you pull it out, look. Awesome. All right, so that's 110 lumens. Oh, wait. Oh, different modes, there we go. That's low. Oh, there's strobe. Uh oh, I think I skipped right through the high mode. There's low. There's high. Strobe. Oh, look at that high mode. That's pretty, uh, pretty good amount of light right there. What does it look like on the flashlight? There we go. Flashlight. Not really a, it's not really a, oh, there we, there it goes. You got to push it all the way in. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, heck. Oh, I guess you can just barely tap it. You don't even have to get it all the way to go through the modes. See, you got to. You don't really have to do all the clicking. You can just soft click it. Like soft click, that's what you call it. And cycle through the modes. All right, we see how bright that is? Let's try it with one of these um, supposedly high power batteries and see if it goes any different. Ooh. There's 
low, there's high. I don't know, that might be a little bit brighter. I think it is. I think it is brighter. Excuse me. I think it is a little bit brighter. All right, let's try this other battery. The red battery and see if it's any difference. I think it's not as bright. I think it's about as bright as that one. That's gonna be about as bright as the other one. I think those silver batteries are brighter. Let's try one of these just for kicks real quick. Oh! That one's pretty bright. I would say that's about the same bright, right? Wow. All right. Anyway, we'll take these outside when it gets dark and we'll try them out in the dark and see what happens. We'll see, uh, you know, just how far you can see in the dark with them. All right, join me. All right, so a friend of mine let me borrow a room that's going to be totally dark when I turn out the light. So first we're going to try out the Ozark Trail Lantern Flashlight. First we're going to turn on the flashlight, then we're going to go set it up with the lantern. I've got a ladder set up back there and uh, I'm going to have the lantern set up probably about 4 feet off the ground. That's probably about 15 feet back to that back wall and it's about 9.75 feet wide. So almost 10 feet wide and about 15 feet back. So let's take a look. Hold on. All right, so we got a totally black room. I'm going to turn on the flashlight on the Ozark Trail. That is the, I don't know. Oh, that was the high. There's the high. There's the low. There's the strobe. It's not really much of a strobe. It's more of a beacon light, right? All right, let's go take it and put it on the ladder. And there is the lantern on the ladder. It makes a fairly decent light out there. All right. So that was a look at the Ozark Trail flashlight lantern. Oh, let's put it on, um, what you call it? let's put it on a different thing. That's low. That's low. That's beacon. That's high. That's low. That's beacon. That's flashlight on the floor. That's low flashlight on the floor. That's beacon on the floor from the flashlight. Next, we're gonna check out this Leshy from Yuko. It's the flashlight lantern. So let's uh, have a look at that. There's a low beam. There's the high beam. There's the strobe. There's the low beam. There's the high beam. There's the strobe. Now let's go set it up and see what it looks like as a lantern. And there's the Leshy lantern about four feet off the ground. It's not really straight up and straight down, but um, you can get a pretty good idea of the 
light that it shows. So it's about probably halfway in between the walls. So that's a good four or five feet that it's shining the light pretty good there on the right hand side because it's just tilted to the right. So uh, let me go put it on low. Oh, I mean strong, I'm sorry. There's the low. If it was straight up and down, it would look like that. Okay, so that's my review of the Ozark Trail flashlight lantern and the Leshy by Yuko flashlight lantern. This Leshy lantern has this little lanyard and this little hook on it so you can attach it to things such as if you wanted to attach it to this ladder you could do that or Or you could do it upside down, whatever you need. Or you could attach it to this hammer like that. Whatever you need, wherever you want to attach it, you can attach it with that little lanyard. Probably up to something like, you put it on there. You know, you can, It can attach to something that's strong enough to hold it up to keep it where you need it. So in summary, I probably like the Trailblazer a little bit better for the Lantern. I probably like the Leshy a little bit better for the Flashlight. What I would probably really do is take the Leshy and carabiner. I mean take the Ozark trail and carabiner it to the Leshy and walk around like that Open up the bottom Use them in conjunction with each other That's probably really the real deal All right. Thank you so much for watching my video click like or subscribe. Have a good afternoon. Have a Good day evening. Whatever time it is you're watching morning, whatever Thank you so much and have a good one.